Hi Year 4, welcome to Wednesday's Maths. Today we are looking at fractions that are greater than 1. So, so far we've been looking at fractions where the numerator, that top number, is smaller than the denominator, the bottom number. But fractions that are greater than 1, that top number, may be bigger. And it means that we have a whole number involved. Okay, so here's your question to have a go at first. Pause the video, have a go at it. Remember to use diagrams, it will really help with fractions. And then we'll come back to it in a moment. Okay, so you should have had to go at looking through that now. Okay, so in here it says, my three friends share some pizzas. Each pizza is cut into eight equal slices and all together they eat 25 slices. How many whole pizzas do they eat? Okay, so with this, you've got to figure out what one whole pizza represents. So we know it's got eight slices. So we have eight on the bottom of our fraction. How many slices would it be if we had all the pizza? And that would be eight. Okay, so that represents one whole pizza. Okay. We know they've eaten 25 slices. So we need to figure out how many eights there are in 25. So we can count in eights, we have eight, 16, 24, not enough yet, 32, four. So we've got four lots of pizzas, which, gives us, which would give us a total of 32 over eight, okay? Which is too much, but that's how many four pizzas is. So we know they would have needed four pizzas to have been able to have 25 slices, but they've eaten three whole pizzas and not all of the fourth pizza. So if they've eaten 25 slices, how many slices would they need to eat to finish off all four pizzas? Well, that needs to go from 25 to 32. So we can count from 25 to 32, and we should end up with seven. So it should be they need to eat seven more pieces of pizza, and they will have eaten all of the pizza slices. Okay. Part, part, whole models, do help you to understand when you're looking at fractions that are greater than one, the parts that the fractions are made up of. If you have a look at the example on the top here, it's saying to you here, it's got five quarters and it's showing to you at the top four quarters in one bar and one quarter in another bar. So that's five quarters it's got there. And it's then breaking that down into four quarters, which equals one, and then the one quarter that's left over. So we can say that five quarters is equivalent of one and a quarter, okay? So you'll put there are five quarters all together. Five quarters equals one whole and one quarter, okay? Have a go at these two, fill in the missing spaces, and then see if you can write the same sentences that are done on the the example one here for the two models underneath. So pause the video and have a go at those. Great, okay. So now you've had a go at using part, part, whole models and writing a stem sentence to explain what it's showing. See if you can do it for these three fractions. They're all fractions bigger than one. They may contain one whole, they may contain more than one whole. But first thing you need to look at is what the denominator is, how many parts there are, that will tell you how many whole ones you've got. Good luck, and I hope you get on well with it. 